And you know another thing about what's going on. The fact that I'm under surveillance 24-7. The fact that my home is tapped. The fact... And still can't get any help. See, this is what happens when they illegally tap, wiretap you and they illegally do this shit. See, when the federal government is wrong, when the FBI... See, see, here's the deal. Fuck the FBI. Fuck all those agencies. You can't determine a human being by their job. Most people start out and they're humans. And they get a job because they want to do something. And the name that should matter to them is their name. Not who they work for. Not not as a conglomerate, as a group. So yeah, I say fuck the FBI and I say fuck a lot of things. But that doesn't mean that I'm saying that to each individual person that works for the Bureau of Investigation. Or illegal wiretapping to, to save themselves because they had a federal, one of their fucking fuck-ups that had military training to be able to do the same shit that I do cause a fucking a, a child to lose their life. Possibly an, another person in that family. But see, I like to say that. I ain't fucking scared to say that fucking shit. But see, you know, when I try to get help for my family, nothing. You know what? So fuck you. Fuck you and your FBI. Fuck you and all that other shit. See, what you're going to learn right now is Oklahoma has been the center of more terrorism, funded more terrorism than any other fucking state in the United States of America. All you got to do is go back and trace it. All you got to do is the first time the World Trade Center got bombed. It's the same fucking MO as the Mirror Building. But see, what was going on at the same time was Waco, David Koresh. It was traditional values. It was a cult-like deal. Well, then guess what else did you have going right there? You had the fucking Unabomber. Well, the same thing that was going on in our state was corruption on the ATF. It was drugs. See, they try to make it look like either religion or they try to make it look like it's hate crime. They just don't want to make it look like a law enforcement selling drugs crime. And that's what the fucking problem is and that's what I'm in the fucking middle of. Fuck you, Brett Malls. Fuck you. One of these days our paths will fucking cross and I swear to God, I will fucking rip your fucking head off your fucking body and I will kick it down the fucking road in front of your family. You want to know why? Because I didn't take a fucking oath to protect and serve. I took an oath to uphold the Constitution of the United States of America. And I also took up an oath for prisoners of war. And when you're a prisoner of war, it doesn't ma mean whether it's a foreign or domestic. It means if you're incarcerated due to war on drugs, war on religion, war on politics, war on constitutional values, you have rights. You don't, you fucking piece of shit. You get six months and you get covered up and then you'll fucking go somewhere else. And just like that, just like Blake fucking Ewing, city fucking councilman, funneling all this fucking money from all these fucking jobs, all these businesses ripping them off and then bounces out. And people want to point at the fucking governor and they want to point at the mayor and the president. No, fuck you. Fuck the fucking city council. See, it's the fucking city council that wanted to get in and sell fucking pot here in Oklahoma. Man, fuck you. I know who I am. I know what I do, but you motherfuckers don't even want to help out the fucking his Hispanic community. You want to fucking continue to race bait and do all this other shit and continue to paint the narrative that we should deport people. Man, fuck you. You know what should be deported? The fucking city council of fucking Tulsa, Oklahoma is what should be fucking deported. But see, I can't, I, I'm going to say that shit, but it makes me a radical and it makes me a person on the terrorist watch list and it makes me a person that's speaking out during a time during an election. Why? Because I fucking should, because this election time, this election coming up, you should go back and revote for all your fucking Congress. But see, the problem is you don't ever see the Congress, they're faceless, they're anonymous. I want you to think about that. Then I want you to think about. I want you to go back and look, and I want you to actually fucking research. You see all these businesses open? If you're a bartender and you're not bartending and your business isn't open, you're a fucking idiot. You're fucking stupid. And the people that own the business, they're fucking stupid. There's no stimulus coming to help that shit. It's going to be a hostile takeover. We're going to come in and hostily fucking take over your shit and give you, buy it out, and then you're going to have to find another job. I don't fucking care. I'm done playing nice. I'm done being here. I'm going to do what benefits 
my fucking pocket. I sit here every day and I'm looking at billion dollar homes. Why? Because I fucking can. And you know what I'm going to do? You know what? I can take my vast worth, you know, the stuff that I've earned and I've never touched. So, you, oh, and they want to say, oh, taxes. Well, here's the deal. I don't have to fucking claim it. I can give one time lump sum gifts to every fucking woman I want. Why? Because, I, you know what? I'm fucking Muslim. I fucking believe in Islam. You know what? I can have 72. I don't want 72 virg virgins. I want 72 women of experience. I want 72 women that want a fucking good life. I want 72 women that want to fucking leave this fucking cesspool of a fucking state. Why do I want to be here? The only reason why I'm here is because I got family members that live upstairs that can't get any help from the rest of our piece of shit family. It's like this. I got a family member that's on city council and a fucking different deal that misuses and fucking uses the police to fucking clean out her fucking gutters. Fuck you, bitch. You're part of the fucking problem. You should be arrested for that shit.